What's going on? This is your boy, DJ Marcus. In this episode of Grow Your DJ Mix Show Podcast, we're going to talk about how we were able to grow our podcast in 2022 from virtually zero listens up to over 100,000 listens by the end of the year, literally around December 26 to be, to be exact. So let's get right into it. The first thing that we did, we had to change our mindset. Before we thought of our podcast just as a hobby, it's something to do. We really didn't take it seriously. And actually, it was in several positions behind other focuses of the priorities. We had a priority of creating music and music productions. And then we also had a priority of booking gigs and doing gigs around the world. And then came the podcast. But what we decided to do was change that focus around and change that priority where the podcast became primary. And by doing so, we also changed our mindset and thinking of it that not as just being a hobby, but of us having a media company. As DJs um, doing our mix shows or as general podcasters, you are a media company. Now, what does that mean? That means that we're creating content. Yes, it's a DJ mix show, but it's also content. Now, our end goal has always been to be able to expand our audience and also to eventually monetize our podcast. So as a recap, you are a media company. We are media companies. Next, the next point was we had to niche down. In DJ mix shows all around, you can see that there's several broad shows. Hey, I am just doing hip hop or I am doing house music or, or I'm doing trap music. But what makes your podcast, what makes your mix show different from everyone else's? If it's just like everyone else's, then why would someone go, want to go and listen to yours when they can listen to those other five DJs over there? And remember, everybody's a DJ nowadays. You have, you're battling against, rather we're battling against all the professional DJs, all the touring DJs, and all the bedroom DJs that just got their equipment last week. So what makes your podcast different? In our case, our podcast is based upon I'm a piano, Afro beats, Afro house, and they all are gospel inspired. That's what makes our podcast different from everyone else's. What can you do to make your podcast different? What can you do to niche down your, your focus on your mix shows? So the third thing that we did, we set up our studio so that we were able to quickly hit record. What does that mean? We don't have to go and set up all of our equipment, set our gear up, put the laptops here, uh, move the camera over there. We're able to, within 30 seconds, go straight into a mix and hit record and stream it online as well. So how is your setup right now? Do you have your equipment in order where you can go and quickly hit record? Or do you have to stop, set up your equipment, set up your gear? If that's the case, your goal should be to have a setup where you can quickly get to your mixes and get to your shows without any hindrances. We want the barrier to record to be very, very minimal. One thing I always say that efficiency yields effectiveness. So if your setup and your area is efficient, then your mix show and your time spent there will be effective. The fourth point is one of the most important points of this whole thing here, and this is actually something you really want to make sure you grasp. If you don't grasp anything else, grasp number four. And number four is consistency is the cheat code. Consistency is the cheat code. Without being consistent, everything else doesn't really matter. If you, once you grab an audience, you have an audience that's looking for your podcast and then you're sporadic in sending it out, what are you going to do? You're going to lose that audience. We started being consistent prior to 2022, and we did our shows twice a week, every single week, come Hades or high water, in essence. Even when my mother passed, I, I did a dedication show the week that she passed and kept the consistency going. And that dedication show was one of our biggest shows of that of last year. So consistency is the cheat code. And one thing you want to do is, Go and set out a schedule. Plan your week out. How does your week fall? One of our upcoming videos will be about balance. How are you scheduling out your week? 
How are you preparing for your shows? How are you preparing to record your podcast? When are you doing your researching? What we do the day before we do our shows, we prepare our mixes. We'll go in and, and download brand new music. We'll search through the blogs. We'll search through um, Spotify and Spotify playlists and stores like TrackSource and on Juno Download and Beatport and try to find the best, the newest music that just come out. We'll take that, throw them into Rekordbox, um, and then put them into a quick playlist just for that week so that we can provide to our, our audience the latest and greatest music that we possibly can. So how is your scheduling? What are you doing? How, how do you prepare your week before you go into your podcast? Or are you just jumping up and just start playing music? If, you, if your goal is to provide your audience with the best and the latest, then you still need to do a little bit of legwork. So make sure you schedule it throughout the week. And then most importantly, be consistent. If I can't stress it more, be consistent. The last point is a bonus point. But let's go back and recap. Number one, we changed our mindset from a hobby to a business. Number two, we niched down to provide a certain segment of a music audience, our podcast. Number three, we're able to quickly hit record because of how we have our studio set up. And number four, consistency is the cheat code. Now, once we implemented all those four strategies and had a great foundation, then we pulled up number five. And number five is social media ads. We consistently run Facebook and Instagram, TikTok and YouTube ads to draw audiences to our podcast. Now, we won't really get into the finer details on this podcast, but we will in a future podcast coming up. We structure targeting and retargeting campaigns and also build our email and messenger list of our audiences there. So we're able to reach out to these audiences at later times to let them know that, hey, we have a new podcast out or, hey, we're doing this particular interview or, hey, we're going to be live in Amsterdam doing ADE to do this here or we're going to be traveling to France for this or we're going to be in South Africa for that. We're able to build up our audience by utilizing these social media ads. Hey, this is your boy, DJ Marcus, and I hope that you got something from our podcast today. Please remember to subscribe to this podcast in your favorite podcast provider. Go and search for Grow Your DJ and Mix Your Podcast, or also follow us on YouTube with our Grow Your DJ Podcast video version there. Hey, this is your boy, DJ Marcus, and until next week, God bless. Peace.